So this is the BMW Museum. 10 euro to get in. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews, um, but if you're not into bikes and BMW and cars, it might not be for you. So at the moment, there's been displays of engines and early motorbikes. I mean, it, it looks fantastic, but uh, wait to be wait to be seen. Let's have a look. More motorbikes. So why is it when you see something that says "Please do not touch," you just want to touch it? No idea what that is. Ah, oh. I don't know. Is that? I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Is that a development thing? It's a 2005 BMW M6 there. I assume that's connected to the roll cage. I don't know. All right, finally worked out the point of it. It's a magnesium alloy, known as electron. So it's very light. Lots and lots of engines. BMW 1999. I don't know if that's a Le Mans car. There's just tons of this sort of thing. Yeah, and it's a very impressive exhibition space. But it's quite right that unless you really do like cars um, and motorbikes, it's a little bit uh, pimped up. It's a very impressive uh, museum. It's looking through um, various generations of BMW. I think it's the BMW 3 Series it says at the end. I don't know how this looks in uh, two dimensions. So you've got bits of wire, lots of badges and dates, and it's all in three dimensions. Very weird. There's uh, racing bikes. Have more motocrossy. And even some sidecars. I mean, that's an enormous bike now. Oh, Dakar Rally bike. I wondered why that was weird. Sidecar. Oh. Oh, it looks like a spaceship rock, or car or something. 1937. So again, just to look in the central part. I haven't worked out the way it's arranged yet. It just seems to be higgledy piggledy. Okay, design concept. The clay model. That looks very weird. The only BMW Series G20 clay model 2018. That is genuinely clay. You can see the scratches on the front. Right, 
get a better view from this side. So it's full size. The wheels are real. But the rest of it is clay. Okay. This is the treasury. I do love drama, don't they? Okay, I've finally worked out the system they've used here. They haven't got one. Apart from the odd um, section that's on sports cars or sports bikes, then they're in date order or some sort of sensible order. But other than that, it just is a mishmash of different styles of BMW. So the bottom of the bike display finally. Um, and then they do something like this. As, what's it called? The company aspects thought and action. This just looks a bit weird. This is a concept car, a BMW i3 electric car. It's got some uh, what they call home charger. I assume you have these put at home and you can plug your car in. And then it's got this, which I assume again is the battery pack. You can see, it's basically what, nearly six foot tall. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Time to exit. Right, in BMW belts, we've got the mini section, which is still open as is the BMW. showroom um, upstairs is closed, but um, this display seems to be the most popular for some reason. It's not, it's not a bad uh, showroom. I'm afraid I know nothing about cars, so that's just a red car and then that's a blue car. Clearly the red one's an electric car. There you go. Shows how good I am at this. The one, it says. Um, it's got a, ooh, a C, C uh, energy efficiency. Uh, what does the uh, electric car have? Let's have a look. It's the 5. It's an A+. Plus. I assume that's where you go if you've got loads of money upstairs. It's funny, I've just been in the museum and these are on display in the museum. This is tomorrow now. Um, the iVision 